A growing concern for every inhabitant of the planet nowadays is to have a good medical insurance to cover them up in case they need a hospital. What happens in Brazil? Do you, do, does Brazil have uh, a public health system? What is it called? Stay there and I'm going to show you everything after the intro. Hello guys, my name is Mark Sant and this is Brazil Subtitled, your channel to get to know all you ever wanted to know about Brazil, but in English. We are also on Instagram, if you guys want to follow us there and find out what happens uh, backstage during the filming, during the, the videos, or what else our channel or, and our work has to offer when it comes to showing Brazil, just follow us in this account that appears right here, okay? Uh, let's go, let's go to the video. Let's talk about the, the health system in Brazil. What is it, how does it work exactly? Well, Brazil has a system called SUS, or Sistema Único de Saúde, which is the, the universal health system in the country. And we say universal because once you are here, and even though you're not Brazilian, you can be served by this system and you don't have to pay anything in the end. It's for free and it's for everybody. Thus, the name universal. But why does Brazil do that? First of all, it's guaranteed in our constitution under the law 8.080 that every Brazilian has the right to have a medical assistant, to be served whenever they are in dire straits, they are in, in a difficult health situation. And uh, the law has been extended as well to any foreigner, any visitor to the country, any immigrant, whether they possess the visa or not, to be served in case of emergency, in case of necessity. So guys, if you are in Brazil and if you get sick, you can be sure you can drop by a public hospital and you're, you're going to be served. Brazil is known as the only country in the whole world where this situation happens. Uh, <clears throat> and let me, let me add something here. The only country with more than 200 million people where the public system is totally for free, completely for free, and it's universal. It will serve foreigners or non-foreigners, Brazilians or non-Brazilians. Okay, and um, what is the service like? Is SUS a good service? Well, guys, I'm going to tell you that not only the service for you to be served here in Brazil is for free, but also medication if you need it. So Brazil is known for offering medications that are extremely expensive in the market. Cancer medications, Alzheimer medications, all kinds of drugs that you need for, for HIV for free. You don't have to pay anything. Maybe you can compare to the NHS in England, that is the, the public service there, or the one in Canada. But guys, again, I'm talking about a, a country with more than 200 million people. So if you compare Brazil, which has 210.5 million people at the moment, to China, to India, to, and to any other country with more than 200 million, Brazil is the only one that offers that. So, everything is beautiful in theory, on the paper, but what happens exactly, Mark? You can ask me, what happens exactly with you, with your family there, Mark? Well, as I have said on this video recently, you can click on this card to know about how much it costs for you to live in Sao Paulo, the city where I live. Um, we have SUS, which is the public health system in Brazil. Um, wonderful for offering the public services completely for free and also for the medications that you need. Um, and they also provide vaccination for all the population. It's a, it's a great system, but it's not perfect. There are many flaws. Uh, some people have to wait in line for days to be served. Depending on the region, the situation tends to be more or less complicated. So I have recently needed medical assistance because of kidney stones. If you have had stones in your kidney, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it hurts a lot. So I'm still in the process of recovery. Uh, 
for the first time, I hope my doctor is not watching this. For the first time, I hope a subs I don't have one subscriber, which is my surgeon, my, jo my doctor. I hope he's not watching me standing here uh, uh, before you guys because I'm still in the process of recovery, taking antibiotics and everything. So I have stayed in a private hospital here in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is known in the whole South America as a reference when it comes to medicine, when it comes to hospitals. We have had presidents of other countries coming to treat here in Sao Paulo. We have two of the best hospitals in South America. It's called Sirio Libanes and uh, Albert Einstein. Both are amazing. And you have some other hospitals that are also wonderful in quality, like the one I have stayed, which is the hospital, which is the Beneficência Portuguesa Hospital, or as people like to call BP. So by staying there and by having limitations to produce videos to you this week, because I'm still going slow, taking baby steps on the return of my work. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I, I keep on teaching my students, but I, I try to go slow. So I wanted to talk to you about my experience. Uh, why didn't I go through SUS? Well, because SUS has a long line for surgeries, has a long line for special uh, services like this, for special surgeries. If I really needed, if, you, if it were an emergency, my life depended on this, my life were at stake, they would operate me easily and I wouldn't have to pay a single penny for this. However, Paulistas and Brasileiros in general prefer not to count on SUS because nowadays, due to the pandemic and to the number of unemployed people, unemployed families, you have more and more people dependent on the service. So it inflates the system as a whole. So for people who have a little condition like me to pay for private hospitals, then we decide to do so. And guys, take a look at the, the room that I stayed right there, just for you to have an idea of what it is like to go to a private hospital in Sao Paulo. So my suggestion for you is, if you're coming to Brazil, you are immigrating to the country, um, possibly, uh, if you have a job guaranteed here already, possibly the company will pay the medical insurance for you. That's the common practice here in the country. Otherwise, you can be sure you can, if you depend on, upon a hospital, you can go through SUS and you're going to be served as any other Brazilian is, right? Now, if you're traveling, I believe you are uh, requested to contract some medical insurance before you get into the country. However, if you need the public system, you can also be sure you're going to be served here. Um, have you ever been to Brazil? Have you ever needed to go through a hospital uh, here in the country? Was it public or private? Of course, the private, the private hospitals are the best. Remember, I'm not saying otherwise, but I'm saying we have a system that works and it's free of charge, which, is, which goes a long way in case you need some medical assistance. Comment down below if you have been to Brazil and depended upon our system before, or if you have gone through a private hospital in the country or in Sao Paulo specifically. Thank you very much for watching one more video. Uh, I wanted to bring something more simple for you guys. Uh, due to my condition, I can't uh, exaggerate too much this week. I still need to recover, but I'm going to be up and about very soon. Uh, stay with us on Thursday. We're going to have more videos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to receive notifications. See you next time.